Hello, good day guys. You're welcome to the test piano improvisations and in this video I'm going to teach you how to transcribe from staff notation to sofa notation. I know most of us have been finding this difficult, especially those that don't read staff and you know those that basically sing with sofa, they find it difficult to do that. But in this video I'm going to explain every bit of it and you understand it. The only thing you're going to do me is to subscribe to this channel stay tuned watch my videos and understand more of this you can share to your friends you can like and click on the bell notification to receive video notifications when i post this educative video thank you and god bless you let's start today's lesson okay um transcription transcription okay so um, when you have your staff, this is your staff. I'll just use this treble clef to do this. Let's just take that as our vocal score. This is treble clef, and this is in the key of C. Everything we're going to be doing here is in the key of C. We'll still try that on the key of G. Okay, so this is your treble clef now, and um, this is a four four. Time. Okay. Then you have something like this. Let me do what all of us will understand. Okay. Then you have this. You have this. Okay. Mm, if this should be four four, that means we're going to do. Oh, let's take it to be two two. So I can't put the name here. Sorry. Let's have to do this soft annotation we all know. Okay, this is a ledger line. Then here, then. Okay, then I have in here. I have in here. And buy again. We we'll have here. Have here. Okay, let's stop it here. So you have a staff notation and you saw something like this. Wow! You ask yourself, oh my god, what will I do? What will I do? I don't know how to transcribe. Okay, this is the key of C. This is the key of C. So what do you need to do? You just need to know your alphabet, nothing else. Here is E. Here is G, here is B, here is D, and here is L. Then on the spaces you have your F, you have A, you have C, you have your E. So if you just know these things, nothing again. So let's draw our keyboard so we know what is going on. Let's know what is going on. Okay? So this is our keyboard. Yes, this is my professional way of with my keyboard I believe you can still learn what I'm doing okay Most of you will be like, ah, how did you draw this? Yeah, you can learn from me. By the way, if you want me to draw for you, you pay. I will teach you how to draw it. So I believe all of you saw what I did. This channel is for everyone. Okay. This is what I did. And it looks exactly like a perfect piano fault. Wow, good. Okay, having how this is your piano now, and here is key C, here is D, here is E, here is F, here is G, A, 
B C D E F G A B. You understand now? Then, um, like I told you before, this line is E line. So what comes before E? There is something. There is a space here, and that space is called D. And for you to have any other line here. You put a ledger line. Level. Remember, I told you a ledger line is used to represent nodes that are beneath or above the staff. So, this is a ledger line. You put it and it will form as if it is a line. The, then, if we should put our ledger line here, so here we're going to be C. So, if here is C, okay, then remember we are playing on KC because it is not sharp. Nothing was here. No sharp, no flat. So, Anywhere you see C is your do. Anywhere you see C is do. You know we have C somewhere here. Here is a do, but in the higher octave, octave one. So here is C. So we'll bring it out here now. It's do. Do. Then what's the time of this note? This note is a meaning note. It has two bits. It has two bits. So when you have this one, then you put your bit. That is one two. Then you have this note again, which is on D, and D is Re. You have it again and put your one, two, then you put your bar. You understand? Then here is F. F on key C is Fa. You put your F and put your, you know, there are two, two bits in a bar. So here is G, and G in key C is So. You put your bar again. Here is A. A in key C is La. Okay? Then here is uh, B. B in key C is T. Okay? This is where we stopped. So T has um, one bit. Yeah. So, if, as you can see it now, it's Do, Re, Fa, So. Oh, this one has another bit. Sorry. Do, Re, Fa, So. This is what I just represent here in staff. I believe this is going to be a surprise to you. Wow, yes, of course. Then, if here is KG, let's just know what, what, what to do. If here is KG, know that here will be sharp. G, uh, F will be sharp. So, is, is there any way I put F here? Okay, I put F. So, let's transcribe this to KG. So, here is KG now. And C on key G is what? C on key G is F, which is fa. Key, yes, listen to me very well. Here is C. This is normal C. So, and C on the keyboard, as you, in respect to key G, what is C? C natural in key G. C natural in key G is fa, which is fa. Then you have um, D. D in key G is so. You put your bar. Then we have um, F. F in key G. Remember, they sharped this key G. They sharp F here. That, that's why it is key G. You must sharp F. Most of you that are playing scales on key G, you'll be asking yourself, ah, why did we go up? This is the reason why we went up. We sharped F. And whenever we are sharpening, we are increasing the notes by a semitone. So, um, we sharp F. So, that our F is going to be T. You understand? Then, we have our G. As you can see, this is the G line, which is going to be Do. I believe someone is understanding something. So, if you are understanding something, if you understood something from this video, just drop it on the comment section there. Um, I will appreciate it. I will appreciate that, sorry. Um, then we have um, A, which is the next one in the space. So A in key G is what? Re. Yes. We have it. You remember we are dealing with two, two bits count. So um, we have another thing there. We have B. B in key G is what? Me. So we drop it. Me. Have you seen how simple this is? Transcription is so so simple in staff notation, so you don't have to level so much, just understand the basic, understand how the thing goes, then know your alphabetical uh, keys in the keyboard.
there's nothing difficult in it. I believe we have understood something. So you go back there, try out in other keys and send to me. Anywhere you have a challenge, drop your questions in the comment section. I am going to look into them after. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, remember to like, and remember to share to your friends, especially your musicologists out there. Share to them for, for them to see and compare with whatever they are learning. Thank you so much. It's Uzates here also, and um, I'm grateful teaching you music. Thank you so much.